Hello everyone, how are you all? Hope you're doing fine during this pandemic time. Today, I'm going to tell you five most important things you wanted to know about microgreens. In my previous video, I told you how to grow microgreens at home. The easiest method without using soil, manure, any of those type. Uh, today is the day where many people's queries were there about few things, you know, how to grow them, that is one thing. How long it takes to cut them and uh, regrowth and things like that and all. So I'll be telling one by one all these points and I hope everybody will be happy with whatever I'm saying and it will help you. Okay, let's start. Now, what is a microgreen? We have been hearing about microgreens for a long time now and uh, actually what are they and why we didn't know about these things you know earlier when we were small kids or our parents never told about microgreens or neither we had microgreens earlier. Microgreens are actually the greens but as the name suggests they are greens of smaller size micro smaller size but they are uh, as good or I would say they are much, much better than the actual greens, the full grown greens. Now, microgreens were not in, uh, you know, in, uh, in our food, a part of, it was not a part of our food earlier. In 1980s, in some restaurants in California, started serving them in their food uh, to add flavor to their food add color to their food and uh, some of them you know like uh, just to give a good look or feel good thing about the food which is being served so it started you know like picking up people started appreciating it because each microgreen has a different flavor and a different taste now some of them like amaranthus and you know maybe the microgreens of beetroot they have a different color so, you know, that was a, become as like a decorative part of the food. So, once it started introduced in, uh, my, in, in California, people started researching about it. Now, why these microgreens are becoming very famous? Now, they found microgreens are far, far, far better than the greens. Like I said earlier. Now, we we'll see one by one. You know, all about microgreens you wanted to know, all the points you wanted to uh, know about it and all the doubts or the queries you had about microgreens, I'm going to tell you one by one. Now, first, what is the duration of a microgreen or what is the lifetime of a microgreen? Now, once we put the seed in the container and kept it, you can start harvesting them from seventh day onwards. The normal duration of the microgreens are 7 to 21 days. Now this is a tray full of methi which was uh, uh, put one week before. So that means it is already crossed 8 days. And now this is ready for harvesting. Same way, this is a tray full of mustard which is again ready for harvesting. Now some seeds takes longer time, some seeds take very less time. Now the seeds smaller like mustard will come out fast, mm -hmm. it will germinate fast, the greens start coming very fast. Methi will take little more time, if you look at it, see you can't see any of the seeds covers on this, those brown things which you can see in the methi, because methi take little extra time, now within one or two days all these brown things start falling off. So you see only the green methi here. So that is the lifetime. Now the bigger seeds like chana, rajma, white chana, kala chana, any of those bigger ones, it takes more time to germinate, it takes more time to pick up and the first leaves start coming little later. So that is why the duration of microgreens from the day it is put till the time we can harvest is 7 to 21 days depending on the size of the seeds. Now, second thing what you want to know it is what, why microgreens are so famous and why should we add them in our food or why should we grow them in our house. 
the first thing why should you grow them in our house because these are easily available for us to uh, pluck it and use it second thing you know especially in this pandemic time is many a time we don't get things to uh, from the market many a time we don't get to go to the market to collect them secondly you may not get fresh ones which we needed the way we needed but this is absolutely fresh whenever you want just pluck them and take them now the most important thing that is the nutrient value of microgreens why microgreens are so good and why should we all consume it microgreens are come in the category of superfood now superfood is or superfood items are the ones which has or which are loaded with nutrients now for example this microgreen any variety maybe is mustard methi spinach whatever it is they have lots and lots of minerals like potassium zinc magnesium copper and they are very very good source of mm-hmm. antioxidants that is one main thing secondly now suppose a cup full or a you know like uh, yeah a katora full or a cup full of uh, spinach or the actual greens we have it whereas the same time you have few strands of this microgreens it will equate to the nutrient value of that one that full grown spinach or full grown green or the micro so you get the importance of this because we don't need to consume that much to get the nutrient value which this microgreens need the second thing is people ask us you know like uh, okay you're growing this microgreens now what are the benefits of it now i told you the nutrient value everybody knows a nutritious food what does it do to your body we all need a well balanced diet so when we have our share of um, proteins and uh, uh, carbohydrates we need vitamins minerals all these things and these minerals which are in this are very essential for our body many a time this help us to fight against lot of diseases like uh, alzheimers and uh, hypertension diabetes any kind of uh, or a, or many kind of cancers it will help us to come back with that now the thing is that it may not be you know curing the disease but if you are ready or readily consuming this you are regular in consuming all these things you will be your body will be able to fight with all these diseases so that's very important and antioxidants antioxidants have become very very famous and it's a rage nowadays because uh, this helps you to have a very uh, fresh glowing skin and it's very important for your hair your nails your you know like your skin so this is again another reason for you to have the microbiomes now people often ask me how to cut it when to cut it and uh, do they regrow now like i said these are fully grown now this is one and full of moong have micro grid i just harvested see if you look at it some of the micro grains you see this is for example a small one i cut it and kept it because i wanted to show you the length of different different micro grains Uh, these three microgreens are from the same container see the length see the size of the leaf this the size of the leaf it's very small but uh, the length of the stem is very long same here now why is it like that because the one which has a which are bigger leaves are germinated first the smaller ones germinated later whenever you are putting the seeds all the seeds are not the same because we are buying it from the market so you know like some of them germinate faster some of them germinate later 
Now, why the stem is so long? Of course, one reason, this has germinated fast and you know the, the leaves started coming faster. So, you know, before the other leaves come in uh, some of the things, only these two leaves come because moon, you don't find another leaves coming. So, you know, like it has to grow. It cannot have a standard growth. So, the stem keeps taking the length. The second reason why the stem goes very long is uh, as the uh, sun rays keep moving, this needs sun for photosynthesis. So towards the sun, it will start swaying like this, you know. So it become little leggy. This one is a smaller one. Now, if you allow this to grow again, this will become a little longer. Now, mind you, you can still consume these because, you know, they all are very tender. You don't have to, you know, like cut. See, you can just cut them and take it like this. Readily available or ready to use. Now, how to cut this? Now, I'll show you before I cut this. See, the thing is that we are going to be putting the microgreens like this. This is still moist. So, whenever you want to cut something, just take it in your hand, few of the strands, just snip it with the scissors. You got your microgreens. Now, this is mustard. Mustard will not come very tall. It will be a very, very tiny plants will come. So you don't wait for this to grow till, you know, till the height of the moon or something. This doesn't grow very tall. This moon which I cut today and the mustard is the same uh, age or, you know, same number of days old. So if you look at it, see this is still just above the, the container and this was almost this tall on the container. Now the methi is slightly more taller. Even this is ready to harvest now. Now some people ask me can we leave the after cutting the leaves can we leave the stem there so that you know it regrow. Uh, yes it do regrow in some of the plants but not all the plants. Now mustard, methi, moong all these things if you cut you cannot use it for the second harvest. But there are some plants like uh, or the microgreens like uh, gem, uh, you know, like uh, weed grass. Yes, weed grass can be grown almost till 21 days, 3 weeks. Uh, after first week, after 7 days, you take the harvest, leave the rest of it like that only and let it regrow. It regrows and um, after another week, again you cut it, take it. But don't wait for, you know, to keep Regrowing. I think after third harvest you should throw it out because um, it will not have the same nutrient as it had earlier. Uh, and some of the plants of course regrow but mostly the smaller ones when we use like this it is not going to regrow so don't leave it like that only really once you harvested it. Just take out the whole paper layers like this and just throw them out and keep your container clean and keep it for the next harvest. Now, one thing you have to uh, be very sure about it when you are growing about that is please do not keep it in a very, very, you know, hot sun. I always recommend to keep it on your windowsill or in a balcony where you get uh, little diffused light. Yes, they need sunlight because after all they are leaves, they need sunlight to have the photosynthesis, but not directly in the sunlight and the watering part of it. Please do not overwater it or underwater it. I shown you, I told you in the previous uh, video how to check whether your watering is correct or not. So please go through that video if you have not seen it earlier. The complete method of growing it, how to plant it, everything I have seen in that shown in that. So please go through that. So see that your watering is correct, uh, your uh, placement is correct. Now suppose if you are seeing your uh, greens are growing more taller to one side or they are becoming a little leggy, that means that particular part is looking for more sun. So don't worry, you don't have to keep shift, you know, shifting from one place to another. Same place you can keep. Keep shifting your container. If this place is getting more taller and leggy, just do the opposite side. Keep, you know, turn it around and keep this side 
wherever the sun was coming. So, you know, like it keeps equally, it keeps getting the sun. Keep shifting them. That's it. You don't have to shift from one place to another, you know, like. But uh, some people ask me, you know, like, uh, can we keep it inside the bedroom? Definitely, you can keep it under the bed in the bedroom. But see that you get some sunlight there. Whichever room, it's it's not that, you know, it's a, it's a greens, you know, it's a plant. I can't keep it in this room or that room. The only thing you have to make sure is that it gets some sun so that it can grow properly. That's it. I hope this has been very helpful to you. And if you have any queries regarding growing your microgreens or the importance of microgreens or anything regarding microgreens, please put a comment in the comment section. I will try to answer all of them. And also please like it, share. And have a good day. I'll see you next time with a video of how to use them in your daily food items or you know how to easy way of cooking it and the tasty way of having it have a nice day